Hi, I'm Aaron, this is Kiara, and this is our dog Wild. We're travelling around Australia in our bus, and this week we're checking out some more places in South East Queensland. Morning everyone, it's me and the puppy dog's here with me. Kiara's in Brisbane, we're going to go for a walk around Woodford, so come along with us. That's not something you see every day in every town. Just a tank parked in the street. So that is Woodford. We've stopped at this free dog park. So the dog can have a run around. Um, yeah, let us know what you think of Woodford in the comments, but I would put it on my bucket list. Get back to the bus, dog. Back to the bus. Poppy has no idea, but it's time for her least favourite activity. Just having a bath. Only joking, we're not really doing that. Come here, puppy. Come here. And then you'd like to say to the people at home, quality of service, A1. 10 out of 10 would recommend to all puppy friends. Oh, look how fluffy you are. You're a good girl. Because oh, you're such a good girl. Moving day today, we have run out of time at this campsite. Uh, so today I'm going to pack up and move. I won't be able to show you much of the drive because it's hard to drive and operate a camera at the same time. I'm not quite set up for that yet, but just take it for granted that it's a nice drive and I'll see you at the next campsite. What a mission that was, guys. So the first place I went to, uh, it was no vacancy. The next place I tried to get to, went up a big steep hill, big steep twisty hill. Bus started to overheat, so I had to pull over. Got out of the bus, checked the belts, the belts have flipped themselves over. So I fixed that, waited for the bus to cool down, turned around, got back on the road again, pulled over when I could, belts had flipped themselves around again, uh, fixed it again, researched where to come, got to Caboolture, uh, and now we're here at Caboolture Showgrounds. So it's been a hot, long, stinky, sweaty day. I'm a bit tired, but I'll show you what the belts are doing. Come on, check it out. See those grooves? They're supposed to be on the bottom. I'm doing this up as tight as I can and they're still flipping themselves around. I don't know why. It's really frustrating me. If anyone knows, please let me know. Good morning, guys. As you can see, I'm at home. I had all my appointments with my surgeon, my skins, and all the, is good. Everything is good. So now we are at the Kabul Joshua Ground. There is a market. We're going to have a look. We're probably going to stay here for Three weeks? Probably, yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, this is us for Christmas. You have to stay here, puppy dog. They don't want you at the market. The racists. Look at what we got. This cheese was only two dollars each. And giant mangoes. I love markets. Alright, we decided we're going to check out a national park close to here. While we're in Gibraltar. While we're in Gibraltar. Mm. Should be fun. He doesn't like hills. He doesn't like hills. Better than the bus though. True. The bus would be dead. Oh yeah. We can't find the path. 13 kilometers. It's a Somerset Trail. We're not doing the Somerset uh, okay. Trail. Okay. So we are doing these yep. all right which is one kilometer circuit okay so we're going to do this walk it's called the pick a bean walk 
uh, I guess it's named after the Bickerbean Palm, um, and we're in the Dagula National Park, sort of in the Mount Mee area. Yeah, this is cool. Probably is the house of some snakes. Just a guess, but I reckon that's red cedar. Okay. It was almost logged to extinction. The wood was is really valuable because it's super light, super strong. That's a shame. And beautiful timber. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but this call is so weird. What do you think about it? It's cool. It's very similar to the Kenny Wars Fix Reward. Huh? But yeah, it's nice. So, you're welcome. So, uh, where are you taking me now? None of your business. I'm gonna go for lunch. <laughs> it's like 9.30 in the morning. I'm hungry. You're always hungry and then you're getting grumpy just for having breakfast. Because you don't feed me enough. Me? Yep. You're, you're the woman you cook. <laughs> Let's go. So we are the Damonga Lookout. Damonga is the Aboriginal word for flying squirrel or flying possum. Look at all the pretty cows there. Getting our ass under the tree. This road we're on now, this is the road where the bus uh, didn't want to play the game and overheated and the belts flipped over. So it's quite steep, it's quite twisty, and now you get to see what it looks like. Alright, we came to check out this the creek. What is it? A creek? This creek, Sunny Creek. It's school holidays, so it's probably going to be packed with kids. I can hear them already. That's a cute little stream. It's very nice and busy. Too busy. We are leaving. It's funny because this is in Australia is considered very busy. In Europe, it would be considered empty. Also, we don't have the swim the swimwear on. No, they won't let me go in naked. <laughs> That's a shame. I know. Rude. Alright, time to go back home. Hello, hot dog. That's what I said. Look at this sexy Australian man. Yep. How could you say no? Hot. Papi's impressed. It's hot. What do you think, Papi? It's hot. So tonight for dinner, I'm going to make crescioni, which probably you have no idea of what they are but you're about to find out at the end of this video <laughs> so it's basically a street food typical from the part of Italy where I come from uh, we usually eat it in summer it's very common to eat it in summer when you come back from the beach and uh, you get back home and you get crescioni on the way and eat it in your home or eat it uh, uh, at the stall Alright, so what we need is 500 grams of flour, 1 teaspoon of bicarbonate, 75 grams of olive oil, 6 grams of salt and 200 uh, milliliters of water. So we start by dissolving the salt in the water. Then we are going to put roughly 2 grams of bicarb on the flour, olive oil, water and we start mixing with a fork. You can add more water if you need to. If you ever made pizza it needs to have the same consistency of pizza. When we are done mixing in the bowl, we are going to put it on the kitchen bench and we are going to knead, knead, how do you say that? Knead it. 
All right, once we are done, we're going to wrap it in cling wrap, which is finished as well, like the oil. And we are going to wait for 30 minutes. I'm going to have a shower. Good idea. All right, let's do this. We're going to make our filling. So I'm going to put tomato sauce and mozzarella. You can put whatever you want. Some common fillings are sausage and potatoes, pumpkin and potatoes, different kinds of herbs, or you can really put whatever you want. When you buy mozzarella, you want to get this kind of mozzarella, the vacuum sealed one, because if you get the other one, it will be too watery. So this is the mozzarella you, you um, use to cook, like for pizza and things like this. Now we want to warm up a frying pan, like the one that you use to make pancakes. You don't want it too hot, otherwise the crescioni will burn. But maybe, maybe medium fire. Now we want to divide this in little balls. Actually, we get the rolling pin first. Maybe this big. You want to keep the dough thin, otherwise. It will be a pizza, not a crescione. We get one, our first bowl and we want to try to make a, cir a circle. Now, if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. We don't have to sell it. Just to make sure it's thin. But not too thin or it will break. See how thin it is? Once that we made our kind of a circle, we want to put the filling. Now, we want to close it in half. We get a fork and we start closing the borders. And we're putting it on the pan. You need oil, you don't need anything. Just be sure to use the unknown stick frying pan. And while this one cooks, it will take like one or two minutes um, in each side. So while it cooks, we start doing the other ones. Alright, first one is ready. It's quite hard to make them in a bus, but it's not impossible. It can be done because it won't crush any. And we just keep going until we finish it all. Ta-da! Now we have dinner, lunch for tomorrow, and maybe dinner for tomorrow. That's it now. Good? The third time. So, fun fact, so the other day I bought this, and I didn't think they would go inside the fridge. And this is what I found yesterday. I swear I've never seen anything <laughs> like this before. Still yummy though. Uh, still chocolate. So that's it for us for another week guys. Uh, if you liked the video make sure you give it a like, comment, share and everything else. You know what to do. Um, and let us know if you like the What's it called? Crescione. Let us know if you like it or try it. And we'll catch you in the next one. Merry Christmas.